We call our installation the Great Place. As the curtain falls, a new legacy begins at the 3rd Armored Corps. Today, this post has grown to become one of the largest military installations in the world. Fort Cavazos, a name of Hispanic descent, will begin greeting those who drive by. For more than seven decades, the Army installation donned the name of Confederate leader John Bell Hood. Today's change is a fitting one. But it was after the turmoil of 2020 that spilled into 2021 that Congress moved to change that. The George Floyd incident was the catalyst. Uh, it's very unfortunate what happened to George Floyd. So that was the, the, the catalyst that uh, asked, got Congress to uh, pass this uh, within the National Defense Authorization Act uh, to uh, look at the, uh, our naming commission to look at these assets. Lawrence Ramo, one of eight commissioners given the task of finding new names for installations that had once honored Confederate soldiers. A lot of people have, have said that, well, we're rewriting history and stuff. In reality, we're not rewriting history. Uh, this is history that uh, should have, have never happened. When the Confederates, they were killing American troops, you know, and uh, you shouldn't honor somebody like that. So what, now we're honoring true American heroes. With the focus on names that represent minority groups. I can think of no better namesake than General Richard Cavazos. What was important is the uh, Department of Defense, the military, we're a, a demographic of our society. And now we represent uh, like Hispanics, 19% of the population. So we have to have a demographic representation, but most of your military installations were just aimed after uh, whites, you know, and uh, so it was an opportunity for us to see if we can have some diversity. With the help of the community and advocacy groups like LULAC, they landed on General Richard Edward Cavazos. He symbolizes the American dream in reference to uh, Latinos and what we can achieve when we put our minds to it. And he's, he's a fantastic role model. It's a small step and a huge leap at the same time, ironically. And I think that it's important that we not focus so much on that he was Latino and that he was, uh, what do you call it, uh, the first one to, be, to take the name of rededication at Fort Hood, but also that he was an American hero. General Cavazos, a Texas native, made history in 1982 as the Army's first Hispanic four-star general. A hero of the Korean and Vietnam Wars, Cavazos served the Army for 33 years. Spending some of his last years here in San Antonio, General Cavazos died in 2017 and was buried right here at Fort Sam Houston National Cemetery. We don't live in a vacuum. It's about all of us. So if we're going to learn about Ulysses S. Grant and we're going to learn about George Washington, we should learn about General Cavazos. Boots on the ground supporting the move. I think being able to focus on telling the story of leaders who have come before us, who look like us, who in some cases even know our own language, um, I think that's significant. Uh, and it really, that representation really uh, st strikes you to the core because you can see yourself as a leader growing into their shoes as well. A symbol of leadership and a legacy that will live on for generations. For Together We Rise, Audrey Castoreno, Ken's Five.